Dick Fast here. Welcome back to the channel where we turn small, minor upgrades into major problems and emotional scars that last for a really long time. Today, we're swapping out our old, tired shaft, aging, not quite working right anymore unit for this action ready firm dog right here, the David Horner Special, going on our 1985 Cutlass 442. <laughs> The 455 right there. Blue glove right there on it. Frick. Partially naked. This is a custom made unit. I believe he's making these at a 90s Astro Van steering shafts and then he's adapting Oldsmobile ends to it. Hog Waller and out that. Caddy Wampus dog right there. And I post these the odd time for sale on the uh, Oldsmobile Club of Ontario. Facebook page it makes four or five at a time. These suckers sell out quicker than grandma's hotcakes, believe me. But these units right here eliminate the rubber rag joint that take a lot of play out of your steering. These are gonna stiffen her up tighter than Karen's nerves. And guess what? It's gonna leave you a ton more room inside that engine bay so you can fit your headers and all kinds of other fun stuff. Who the hell doesn't love fun stuff? If you don't like fun stuff, this channel ain't for you. Now, after fairly intimate, Two second gander upon the direction of the unit in question. I took a two hour nap. But then, I also concluded to get this done, we're going to need the finger fucker 9000 and the tennis album molester with extended clip 4200. No question there. So, an organized man like me did the proper thing. I decided to put all my eggs into one bass fish and lay these tools out. Finger fucker 45, palm blaster 9. I thought maybe a 9 16 would fit, but that was too small. So I went for a 5 8 the obvious next choice. That was too big. Explain that. Now like any good responsible stock shaft, she's going to be wearing a rubber. Let's have a look here. I got this black rubber grommet here that shoves down on this here dust guard i assume that's what that is now this sucker doesn't want to slide up at all like a virgin's dress so what i had to do was spray pure penetrator in here the other day and now i'm actually able to work that up there it goes look at that rusting shaft okay now i'd say that this when the shaft gets this rusty boys she ain't being properly utilized. Now we can slide this up, expose this rag joint. Now this rag joint uses rubber to connect your shaft to your box, okay? And we all know that when your shaft is guarded by rubber, it never feels as good going in the box. So we're gonna undo this sucker here. We'll pop this top and we'll remove this sucker. And then, We'll carry on. Cheers. Well, even though I'm about as hungry as a hostage and I wanted to stop for a submarine sandwich, I decided that I will persevere. So let's get this shitty old shaft out of this thing here. God, I might have to put some oil on these hands, boys. She's tighter in here than friggin' your mother's arse. coming out here in the garage and just yanking on my shaft for a couple minutes I decided I'll tap her with the hammer so just gonna give her a few light taps here sliding off like nothing now she stopped holy fuck it's because she's rusted up like a freaking sailor's art here Pure penetration in a bottle. Great for your shaft. This should make your shaft nice and slick so she slides in and out beautifully. Just a little bit's all you need. Well, she's about as rusty as a friggin' waitress's social skills here, and uh, 
It's giving me a harder time than an axe and I decided I wanted to move out like a squatter so I got the power tools out. I'm gonna hack this old shaft down to size. Solid to floppy, just like that. You know what that means? She's finished. Listen, boys, if you're anything like me, you suffered in the past from a progressively worsening aging shaft that just lets you down after every performance. After every ride, she's a little weaker. So, uh, with this performance enhancing transplant today, the David Horner Special, we're gonna solve all these issues. David's in the G Body Club of Ontario. Every one of these is handmade by him. They call it the unicorn shaft. And uh, he sells them four or five at a time on the face watcher there. But uh, I never actually bought this one off him. Because when he posts, they sell out within about five minutes. And 100 people are disappointed because they couldn't get one. Well, I've seen this one on Kijiji. There was a guy in Norwood selling it because he abandoned his cutlass project. So after I was done giving him shit for that because that's a fucking sin, I bought it off him. Anytime I'm going to install a new part of my car, I go right back to one of my most trusty assets in the garage, the cooking oil. You're going to want to put this into both of your holes, ensuring smooth penetration. And you're just going to want to douse your whole shaft. This is going to help you with rust prevention and future maintenance issues. But you know what's even better? Is this stuff just kind of smells like a breakfast diner. Yeah, nothing but waffles and cigarettes coming out of the front of this car here. So, uh, get into it. Works like a three-in-one. Tastes great. Now let's see if we can turn this, what should be a three second install, into a very painful, something similar to a kick in the home team bits. Let's check her out. Right on over here. So I'm gonna start by just placing my top where I want it because I'm a little top heavy. Now it's snug there, okay? That, that nut's loose, but that's still snug, even though we got our cooking oil in there. But I don't want to uh, wail on her too hard. I don't want to go, you know, full wailing. But I am just going to tap that on there. Well, after just uh, knock, 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 knocking on heaven's door here, I realized maybe I shouldn't have to beat this thing down like an ugly red-headed stepchild just to slide it on the shaft where it's made to go. So I uh, decided to stop and just take a deeper delve into the particulars of the unit here. That's when I realized the hole, the bolt there was kind of stopping that from sliding on my shaft. So you know what I did? I said, get the hell out of here. Then I just took this 5 16th bolt with lock washer and I slid that through the hole there. So now it just slides right on there beautifully. And then the bottom, exact same. So that's her right there. Now I'll just use some uh, weaponry here and I'll tighten this sucker down. Now we should have absolutely no problem throwing this front end around like a male stripper. Well, there it is, folks. That's so beautiful. That could bring a tear to a glass eye. <laughs> And now, considering even I can install this, that's got me thoroughly convinced that you could be deaf, dumb, blind, hungry, and stupid and probably still pull this off yourself. Well, listen, ladies and lads, appreciate you some fierce tuning in to check us out. Hopefully you uh, learned a little something there watching that. You know, maybe not everybody may be able to get their hands on one of those Horner unicorn shafts, but, you know, that's the same process you'd likely use if you wanted to slam another one of them floppy old raggedo joints in there, but... I wouldn't suggest it. You could probably rig something up yourself. You know, I'm not 100% sure what all modifications he made to that shaft. All I know is that it fits like a dream and it works like a laborer. So there's no problems there. No discussion. So anyways, tune in for next time. We've got some more big fucking plans coming ahead here. We might, some more small projects that might turn into some great big projects. You never know. If you enjoyed the video there, you could consider hitting that subscribe button and Maybe leave a comment. 
If you want to pick apart my work, you could leave a comment about that too, you know. You can't be fast, you can at least be a dick. That's my motto, that's how I go around town acting anyway. So, uh, you ain't got to go home, but you do got to get the hell out of here, because I'm leaving myself. We got some rules to measure. Cheers till next time. Bye now. What you got, big brother? She's 40 and looking sporty. Hell yeah. Nothing to her, but to get out here, measure up, then do her. What did you find you got when you measured that? 19. Found you got 19. I remember being 19. Good times.